Do you need any help? Yeah, I was just wondering what nosh means. Next <laughs> specialty. Whether you've been hurt in a car, motorcycle, or trucking accident, what you do next matters. Make sure to call Sweet James Accident Attorneys. Every month, my firm and I help hundreds of people get the medical treatment they need and the financial compensation they deserve, all without paying a dime out of pocket. Recently, five out of the top 50 settlements in California came from Sweet James. Call the firm awarded best attorneys in America. Call Sweet James. Right now at three, she was an international sex symbol for decades. Now Hollywood is remembering Raquel Welch, who died today at age 82. A sheriff's deputy accused of killing a 12-year-old boy in a high-speed chase and a crash now faces murder charges. And tension boils over in the courtroom as a relative of a mass shooting victim lashes out at the man who pleaded guilty to the crime. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Well, she burst onto the scene with 1 million years B.C. And then decades later, Hollywood is now mourning the death of big screen bombshell Raquel Welch. NBC4's Alex Rozier is live at her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Alex. Yeah, Kathy, we've been here for the last couple of hours, and since this news broke, fans have been coming here to pay their respects to the 82-year-old who died this morning. We still don't have any details about the illness that ended her life, but Raquel Welch started more than 30 films, more than 50 television series in a career that spanned five decades. Fans here today talking about her roles in the films One Million Years B.C. and Three Musketeers. But she made her first mark in Hollywood in the film Fantastic Voyage. Welch is a mother of to. She also ran a very successful wig line. We spoke with a few people here honoring her life. We're losing so many of these great Hollywood people. And Raquel Welch was uh, more than just a Hollywood person. She actually was a pretty fine actress. And everybody knows her as the incredible beauty that she was. But she made some damn good films. Beautiful woman, talented. What more could you ask for? And as you look live at her star here just outside the Target in the L.A. Fitness, the first person that you heard from there, Rick Carl from Burbank, dropped this sign a few hours ago. Farewell to a legendary beauty. But just coming up in about one hour, we are going to be uh, having the Hollywood Walk of Fame officials tell us that they are going to be dropping some flowers here as well. We will be here for that as fans and many people across the world are mourning her loss today. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Alex Rosier, NBC4 News. It is a big loss. All right. Thank you, Alex. Right now, we're looking live from News Chopper 4. Get ready for another cold night. Meteorologist Shauna Mendiola has a sneak peek at the first alert forecast. Shauna. Hi there, Kathy. Crystal clear skies out there, and it is nice and quiet so far. We will get a round of wind again tomorrow, but what we're really watching out for are those cold temperatures tonight. It really didn't warm up too much here today. It was cold outside for the Inland Empire. Temperatures in the 50s where we're sitting at this time. Some 60s right now in downtown L.A., 40s for Victorville and the wind was in your forecast today. Now here's a look at where we are going to see some of the coldest spots in Southern California. It's going to be those inland spots. So Inland Empire, you're going to see a freeze warning. Let me step out of the way to show you what we've got here on the box. A frost advisory for those areas in lighter blue. That's from the San Gabriel Valley all the way up through the San Fernando Valley and Santa Clarita Valley. So all the valley spots will be as cold as 28 tomorrow. We'll have to watch out for that. Mostly going to see that for the IE, but elsewhere, 30s and 40s outside still going to make it feel cold and then you add a little bit of the wind in the forecast in the morning and it feels even colder than these temperature readings outside. So we'll keep you up to date on what we're seeing. Make sure you're bundled up warmly here. Uh, we will be looking at a slight warm up in those afternoon temperatures though. I'll tell you all about that here in your seven day coming right up. Kathy back to you. Shauna, thank you so much. We turn now to a high speed crash in a school zone that took the life of a 12 year old boy. Today, the sheriff's deputy who was behind the wheel is charged with murder. NBC 4's Ted Chin is live in Southgate. He has details and also Ted reaction from the boy's mother. 
Kathy. Uh